Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Naturosity. This is Todd from New Life Bible Camp. Naturosity is where I bring the wonders of nature at camp to you. I hope you've enjoyed learning a little bit about nature and a lot about being curious of the natural world around you. I know that being at home all day, every day is getting old. Getting outside to experience the budding trees, flowers, and all sorts of wildlife enjoying spring weather is a great way to pass the time. Today on Naturosity, we're going to look at birds. To cover everything about birds on this video would take a super long time. I just want to highlight some neat things about birds. You can then look out your windows or walk down to the park and see all the birds around you. As I walked through the woods at camp this week, the more I looked for birds, the more I saw. I encourage you this week to go out and see how many different birds you can see. Share your experiences and photos with the hashtag MyNaturosity. What makes a bird a bird? Well, maybe a bird flies. Nope. Penguins, ostriches, and emus are all birds that don't fly. Taz was an emu at New Life Bible Camp at one time. A bird lays eggs. Well, no. Although birds do lay big eggs and little eggs, a platypus and snakes lay eggs too, and they aren't birds. What about feathers? Yep, that's right. All birds, and only birds, have feathers. The feathers provide insulation from cold air and water temperatures, help them to fly, and the colors in the feathers help birds tell each other apart. The diet of birds covers a wide range of dinnertime options, including seeds, fruit, nectar, insects, worms, fish, amphibians, reptiles, other birds, mammals, and the remains of dead animals, and these are called scavengers. Where do birds sleep at night? We all know they make nests from small ones for hummingbirds and sparrows to large ones for bald eagles. But birds also have habitats in the dense shrubs on the ground and in the hollows of tree trunks. Birds play a hugely important role in the world around us. Here's a short list of some of the benefits of birds in nature. Many birds spread seeds around the forest and see that new trees and shrubs are growing. Other birds help to pollinate flowers and crops. Some eat the nasty bugs that fly around our heads. Crows, turkey vultures, ravens, eagles, gulls, owls, and osprey all scavenge carcasses of dead animals and help keep our surroundings free of decaying animals. Hawks and owls keep rodent numbers down so we don't have too many mice, rats, chipmunks, or squirrels. In the example of chickens, turkey, and duck, they provide food for us in ways of meat and eggs. The final benefit is that they add beauty to God's world. Beauty in color and beauty in song. Whether you live in the country or the city, by a river or in the desert, there are birds everywhere adding great value to the environment. People who are bird watchers can identify birds by their size, color, and the sound that they make, and sometimes the way they fly. With around 10,000 different types of birds in the world, you will never run out of new ones to find. In the Bible, birds are referenced quite a bit. Here are some of the ones I thought of. Noah sent out a dove to find out if there was dry land after the worldwide flood. Elijah, when he was hiding, was given food by God using ravens. Isaiah writes that those who wait on the Lord will mount up with wings like eagles. The Spirit of the Lord descended on Jesus like a dove when he was baptized by John. Birds are fun to watch, they're colorful and helpful. If you were to take a bird feeder and put it outside, in just a few days God will have told the birds where to find the seeds. Matthew writes that just as God feeds and cares for the birds of the air, so much greater will he feed and care for us, his people. God knows what we need, and he will also find a way to provide for us. We can trust God because we can see how he cares for the birds we see flying around outside. 
go ahead, spend some time outside this week listening and looking for birds. I'm sure it will be a great encouragement to your heart and soul. From our family to you, that's all for now. Until we meet again, see ya.